Hello everyone, today we shall be looking at the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 lens. So, I see that you're trying to know more about this lens before you start buying it. So without further ado, let us first start by looking at the exterior of this lens. With its plastic casing, it uh, certainly hints us that it is not a high class lens. Okay, this is uh, something not so good about its exterior. To look at the front, it's actually pretty big. The back, so you can definitely see through it. Okay, so it's actually quite small in size. Okay, and if you are buying a filter, it's only some. It's just protrude a little bit. Okay, this is the shortest length they can go, and the longest. Still very short. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is something not so good about build quality. But anyway, if you were like me, this poor build quality doesn't really matter, because what I um concern most is the image quality that it delivers where I should elaborate more later on and also it, it does not have IS or USM so you only have the AF and MF switch namely the autofocus manual focus okay uh, red dot that means it's an EF lens um, compatible for all EOS cameras so now let's not judge by just looking at this build quality and to proceed further okay, um, to investigate the focusing speed and sound of this lens Shall we? Okay, this is a uh, one front focus. Okay, if I remove the lens cap and I shoot something at the front of me, it's usually pretty fast but impressively loud too. Now, the image quality is brilliant as it produces sharp image. As this lens offers a wide aperture of f1.8, it provides you a narrower depth of view where you can isolate the subject from others, like in this case the red chair is in focus, while any object in the front or back of it will look unsharp. This lens is also suitable for portrait shots, where it produces beautiful background blur at a smaller f number, say f1.8, f2.0, something smaller in number. This isolates and creates a stronger impact to the subject as all eyes will be channeled to the person that is in focus. Macro photography is also great, like in this case the butterfly is in focus, while the background, um, specifically the leaves, are out of focus. This actually gives a softer background uh, where it actually enhance the photo and make it look more impactful. Now, if you have a camera that enables a video recording function, namely the 500D, 7D, I guess the 5D, don't know which mark, and the 1D mark 4 I believe, uh, that would be great because you can actually play around the manual focus of this lens as uh, what I'm showing you now. Okay, and you can achieve the stunning result that you want. Have fun! So before I end off with this review, allow me to share with you my personal opinion of this lens. Good points of this lens. Firstly, it does not really cost you much. Okay, and it also has the capability to produce a sharp image. And uh, it's also ideal for low light photography since it has a wide aperture. And it also has a shallow depth of field like I showed you just now in the live view mode. This is a prime lens so it is easy to operate, no zooming required. Only focusing needed when using the MF um, simply means the manual focus. Great shots for, for the portrait okay, and also close up shots. So indeed I recommend you to get this lens. It just sometimes get handy when the kit lens can't produce the result you want. Now to the cons, uh, even though the focusing speed is pretty fast, I cannot say it's very fast but just fast, okay, it is considered loud. So if you are actually taking those kind of uh, wildlife photography, you, you may just get away those um, animals, insects, whatever. And one more thing to note, this lens will only be able to focus when the subject is 0.45 meters or more away from the lens. 
Uh, in other words, you have to, if you're taking a macro photography, you have to step back to 0.45 meters away from the subject before you can ever focus it. So one last thing to note, this lens has only 5 diaphragm blades, so if you are taking some photos that actually have a back blur background, okay, those circular patterns, those um, kind of dots will not be a full regular circle, it will be a sort of an irregular circle. Okay, so definitely there are some better lenses whereby it has 8 diaphragm blades and some go up to 9. Okay, and uh, with that, I think I've come to the end of my review. Thank you for watching, and for more photos taken using this lens, please log on to icanshoot.wordpress.com. Hope to see you soon, and happy shooting!